Slop City Podcast! Oh, that's beautiful! What'd you say, bitch? Give me your butt. Oh. Give you your butt? My butt. Give to me the One, butt. One, two, three, go. You ready, Randy? Mr. Randy? You ready for us to... <laughs> clap? Yes. Ugh. Catch the clap, Randy. It's called pass the clap. <laughs> he didn't it's catch the, it. Uh, he was like, what? That's the uh, lovable improv game, everybody, called pass the clap. Oh, boy. Pass the clap, everybody. Pass the clap. Pass that chlamydia. We could do the shakeout game, and Tina could say, hey, everybody in the room should do it. And the guy in the wheelchair goes, how am I supposed to do it? I yeah. can't move my arms or legs. Yeah, that was really embarrassing. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. It was fun. Yeah. He liked it. Yeah. He was like, all right, here I am. He was like, yeah, ask the guy in the wheelchair to do it. I'm wearing my ranch earrings. Ranch! Got a bod. So, so about to shit. Rock and roll. Are you really? You need to just go to the bathroom. No. Dude, I'm looking in your eyes and they're so brown because like shit is just trying to come out of your body. Well. When all when the whites of my eyes turn brown, <laughs> that's when I'll that's know. That's when you'll know. Oh, I boy. I don't want to desecrate his bathroom like that. <laughs> <laughs> just a little guy, just a little freaking too. <laughs> I just don't. I guess I don't understand the aversion to pooping in bathrooms, like that aren't your own. It's like if you gotta go, you gotta go. It's embarrassing. But it's like ev- everyone poops. There is truly not one person in the world that doesn't poop. Kitty poops. He ain't ashamed. He's looking at a fly right now thinking, if I got to drop one now, I'm I'm dropping it. <laughs> He's going to run over there to his litter box where Randy has two fresh boxes of litter. Would Oh, is that impressive? Yeah. <laughs> How many do you have at a time? One. One? <laughs> I just ordered some off of Amazon. And they just drop it right on the front porch. Yeah. Love it. Do you buy like the 30-pound ones, like the intense ones? No. Okay. 18-pounders. 18 LBs. <laughs> I wonder if the people like bringing them up get fucking pissed. They're probably like this fucking woman. I've thought about ordering like dog food or whatever on Amazon. And then I'm like, dude, I don't want anyone to be mad at me. Well, Cause like I bring it from my trunk to the house and I'm always like mother. Fuck! <laughs> like I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted him to turn around so bad and it took forever. And then he's like, uh. What? What do you got there, Randall? Uh, <laughs> vodka and uh, energy drink. Wow. Is it really a vodka energy drink? No, it's just this little uh, amino energy from Quick Trip. Just a little amino energy. Did you crack it into the mic or was it just very loud? Inadvertently cracked it into the <laughs> mic. I didn't realize my he microphone was, like, was pointing where it was. <laughs> but now, now you got some. Everybody's salivary glands are going to start producing juice when they hear that. Just from hearing that crack, brother. It's delicious, man. Strawberry flavor. We are not sponsored by them, so nobody, like, I mean, if you go to buy some of it, please don't let them know that we told you. Let's just know that we are not getting any of the proceeds. No, so if you do want to give us proceeds, uh, you can go ahead and... Cash App Randy. Cash App Randy. If he even has cash app. I do not. Well, <laughs> took him long enough to get Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to buy weed now. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> Your fucking weed guy, like, gives you an invoice. And 
at the end at the end of the year, he just gives you like a year to date. It says one weed times <laughs> how much it is. Yeah, he gives you a W nine and it just says one weeds. <laughs> One weed joint. How much is one weed joint these days? One marijuana cigarette. Dude, I don't even know. I think Rand- Randy's Randy, listening to that old, would- old timey ham radio or something because he's like <laughs> got his fingers Sometimes on his ears. I'll see him go <laughs> while we're talking, and I'm like, okay. Is he listening to something different? Randy's listening to Phil Collins right now. Not even listening boom, to boom, us. Boom, 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 boom. So how much does one weed joint cost, Randy? I have no idea. How much? How do you <laughs> buy your weed? I don't. <laughs> Randy's knows he ain't in a state that's. I have never touched drugs ever <laughs> in my life. <laughs> I would estimate because when I was a kid, people would get what's called a dime bag. Oh, yeah. For 10 bucks. Well, that's very fitting. I mean, it's a dime bag, 10 bucks, easy peasy, nice and sleazy. I don't know how many joints you could make out of that. I would say probably like two max. Oh, so that's like five bucks a five joint. Five buckaroos a joint. So have you, you've never smoked weed, right? Oh, I have. Okay. You used to get torqued off that weed? I hated it. Would you get paranoid every time you smoked? I smoked it. One time, and that's when I was melting into the ground, and I won't ever do it again. Oh, Traumatized me for my whole life. You were just like, I was like, is my body going to feel like this forever? Did you tell the people that you were with, like, hey, kind of having a problem here? Yeah. And they're like, oh, God. They didn't want really, they didn't want uh, to get in trouble, though, because the girl's mom had given us that joint. And she's like... If you're going to do it, I'd rather you do it at home where it's safe than left the joint with us, went out on her. You know, she went out. She went out for a night on the town. Because that's what she did. She left you a joint? Yeah. She like rolled it up in front of you guys and showed you how to do it. She was like. Left that doobie there for us to smoke. The rest is history. To change the events of my life. Do you feel like since then you've been different? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you think it like caused a lot of anxiety for it you? Is, it is. Haven't I talked about this before on here? I mean, I feel, I, I know you've know. talked about the drug stuff or whatever. Like it's, if you like were to do it was any. The first time I ever had a panic attack, mm-hmm. but I thought it was the effects of the drug. Oh, but you were actually having a panic attack. Yes. Mm. Also high at the same time, but was having a panic attack. And uh, every time I thought about it, then I would have another panic attack. So I had convinced myself that that it was in my cells. Because you know how sometimes people talk about how, uh, what is it, LSD gets in your, your cells or whatever. And yeah. then sometimes you could have a reoccurrence. I, that's what I was convinced. Happened. Oh yeah. Yeah. That it like stays in your spine or something like that. It stays in one of your cells. You burn that cell and then all of a sudden you're. Ugh. So that was when I was 14. And then it was about, I was about 22 when I found out that I was actually having anxiety attacks and it was not. So I went from 14 to 22 thinking that I was reliving the effects of marijuana when I was actually having Anxiety attacks. That is how you know that none of the drug classes they do work. (laughs) Not one of them. Like, you should have known. You know what I mean? They should have at least, like, given you some kind of, like, hey, this is what drugs do to you or whatever. I just thought I had a weird experience with it. It was, people are like, what's wrong with you? When you're, like, 19 and you're like, I couldn't freaking high, I couldn't even be around it. If I smelled it, immediately would have a panic attack. But in my mind, here I am reliving, thinking it, I'm getting high again. You it, probably did. You have to like stop hanging out with that girl yes. and her mom. Yes, for her years. mom would be like Libby, like <laughs> come to you at pickup to hug you, and you're like, get away from me. No, she she was kind of mad, I think, because then I had to tell my mom. I was like, Mom, you gotta come pick me up. I smoke pot, and I'm all fucked up now. Oh. It was bad. Did she have a talk with this girl's mom? I don't know. Man, that's the kind of shit I wonder. Like, it's like, because I was kind of the bad kid. 
when I was growing up. Not really. Like I wasn't, it was never my house that bad things happened at or anything, but it was like, you know, I ran with like a crew. <laughs> the bad kids. The bad the kids. The druggies. No, we were in elementary school. Like I drew on a, <laughs> I drew on a mailbox and thought I was going to prison for life. I mean, federal could offense. have. Yeah, that's what we thought. So yeah, it fucked up my. It fucked up a lot of my life. Oh. That one joint. But it's just oh, because that's so sad. It's just because I didn't know it was panic attacks. Had somebody told me that I was having anxiety attacks, then we could have worked on it. But being in high school, unmedicated with anxiety and thinking, I'm in class thinking like, oh god, I'm getting high again. Do you think that if you didn't ever smoke that one J, that one doobie, that one puff of, that one, uh, that one, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. that one, ooh, 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 that one JJ, that you would not have anxiety? No, or was it already I, there? I I think that was I had anxiety, and I definitely had OCD, but I think I hadn't had like an anxiety attack until that okay. moment. And that was like the triggering moment. Because I would wake up, I would went, finally got to go to sleep and I would sleep and I would wake up and I'd be like, oh God, finally I feel okay. And then the panic attack would start happening again, which always feels like an out of body experience because yeah. I feel like I'm leaving my body and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to stay like this forever. You're looking down at your training bra and it's got <laughs> weed leaves all over. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> I look over I have a stoner boyfriend yeah. for some reason <laughs> where'd he come from yeah dude his hair is like way too long and ratty you look at like the wallpaper that used to be Care Bears in your bedroom and you're like it's all mushrooms yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's all just straight up mushrooms and Black elves light stuff yeah <laughs> you're like, what happened to me oh, fuck. it was where truly awful I? oh that's scary and I remember when my therapist was the first therapist I had I was telling her about it because I wouldn't tell anybody either because it freaked me out so bad She's like, you were you were having anxiety attacks. And I was like, what? Those are exa- anxiety attacks. You're like, That's not, not from the drugs. Nah, dude, I smoked a J. I smoked a J like seven years ago, dude. I'm still suffering the effects of it. <laughs> dude, that J was fucking <laughs> hard, dude. It must have been laced with <laughs> the something. The therapist is like, um, Miss Libby, uh, I just, I don't know how to explain to you, but like it it was an anxiety attack. It wasn't the weed. And you're like, no, nah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. Nah. You should have seen the stuff. It was, I mean, you're just all about the weed being really, really, really strong. Potent. She's like, no, I mean, trust me. Like, I've smoked some shit in my day. Her name you, was Lois. You got swag, baby. Lois Feldman. Shout out to Lois Feldman who saved my life. Do you think she's still around? I don't know. That's what I'm talking about. I'm a little higher up now. I feel better. <coughs> I lift up my sleeve. I was I'm like, sinking. check it out, Lois. Oh, I look great, Randy. My whole arm, I've got a sleeve of like just weed tattoos. I'm like, check this out, Lois. <laughs> You're telling me I didn't do fucking drugs? Yeah, but it's like one of those like <laughs> t-shirts that have fake <laughs> tattoos on them. <laughs> She's like, Libby, Libby. I'm going to look her up. It's not... I. No matter what kind of strong weed, <laughs> marijuana, we'll call it, you smoked, it, it isn't ever going to leave you lasting effects of seven years. Year after year. Yeah, I mean, it's just really not. And that's okay. I mean, you had a really cathartic experience and you're like, bro, <laughs> you start like fake talking like you're high right then. You're like, whoa, whoa. it's <laughs> happening again. You're like. Pass the duchy to the <laughs> left hand side. <laughs> She's uh, like, um, what? no. I don't see Lewis Feldman in here anymore. You said Lois, not Lewis. Lois. I don't see her. I'm going to look her up when I get home. Yeah. Think she's still alive? I don't know. I still feel like a crazy person for messaging my therapist last year. You did? Yeah. I messaged her a picture of my tits and was like, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I did message her and ask if we could do like Zoom and stuff like that. What'd she say? She never opened it. She was like, I don't know. We weren't friends. Clients. She probably had, no. She probably saw my name and was like, okay. I wouldn't be able to help it. Even <laughs> if I was like, HIPAA, <laughs> like I would still open everything. Right. There's no way. Is it like Instagram where you can see the message, but they don't know? Yeah. 
Let's see. She saw it. Let's see if she She's ever like, opened it. This fucking no, 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 no. It doesn't. It it would have her little picture next to it. She might be able to look at it without you knowing. That'd be really embarrassing. <laughs> so, my current therapist said that she's gonna. Okay, yeah. okay. As far as I can tell, man, she still hasn't opened it. So, <laughs> there's still hope. We're we're good, bro. Why don't you um, call her and leave a message and say, "Hey, could you check your other inbox on fucking Facebook, bro?" I'll be like, okay, uh, so all you got to do is just open up your message requests, and this is how you get to it. Fucking embarrassing. What did that make me think of? What's going on with your chair over there? Well, this is touching here, so it's like, it's just not where it normally is. You know, we're, we're creatures of habit. You know, look, this guy's on the ground. It's on the table. Oh, well, wow. fix it. You know what I mean? It, it's not really staying up. I, no, no, no. I don't. Well, <laughs> he said, uh, I, well, I was just trying to not be annoying and not be like, Randy, but now I've made your it even bread, worse. Your bread ties are not. <laughs> it looks, no, 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 it I'm looks good. okay now. I'm good. No, fuck. Why did you it's call me you out? pulled bro? it out of the hole. Tina's in trouble. We need some bread ties over here, stat. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Whoa, man, I'm just freaky dicky high. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go to sleep and everything will be okay. God, that's scary. Oh, everything's back to no. <laughs> I'm melting again. Your mother walks in on you and you're just pouring ranch on yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, Jesus Elizabeth, Christ. what are you doing? Elizabeth? Elizabeth! Is Elizabeth your real name? Yeah, my middle name. Elizabeth! Wow. What's your sister's middle name? Lee. <laughs> what if it was Elizabeth? <laughs> Elizabeth. Uh, L-E-I-G-H. Oh, okay. Lee. Randy, what's your middle name? R. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, Randall R. Allen. A-L-L-E-N. That's like Gregory Allen. Isaacov. That's what? a great singer. Gregory Allen? Gregory Allen Isaacov. Gregory Allen Isaacov. Isaacov. What's he sing? It's not a big deal. Some songs you probably heard in a couple of flicks. <laughs> He's got a lot of songs and soundtracks. Oh, is he a soundtrack scorer? I wouldn't call him a scorer, but he's definitely scored a few goals. Be careful with your earrings. You don't want them to fall out. You think they're going to fall out? That one looked like it was going to fall out. I got to get some backs so, so I can wear mine. I know. I do need backs on them. Well, I don't want these precious little ranchies to fall out. I don't either. That's why I don't wear mine yet. I need things. I keep burping up teriyaki chicken. Yeah, I am. I'm not like disgustingly full like that one time we ate, but I am a little, I'm a bit full. We overindulged. We did. We had a, we did a Mark bang before this, Randy. And uh, at the very end, we started talking about like what we look like when we're like coming or having sex. <laughs> and Livy, show me your face. I don't remember. <laughs> it was Tina's is mine. I was trying to do it and be serious, but I was like, it's so hard to do it because I kept being like, <laughs> <laughs> and like laughing. She was going to ask you yours, Randy, but I said, there's no way he would tell us. Yeah. I was like, what do you like? Well, but guys are a very, like their come face is very much like it comes all at once. You know, it's just out of nowhere. Like they're like, oh, <laughs> Like, it's, it's not like they're, like, they might have a little moment where, like, <laughs> you know, they might have a little. <laughs> what are they, a dog? Yeah. <laughs> they might have just a little nibble of a moment where it's like. <laughs> you know, they're trying to, like, they're like, oh, God, don't. <sighs> oh. Did you say don't? Yeah. <laughs> don't. 
What? Uh oh. What was bad? I Googled something on my phone and it went somewhere I didn't want it to go. What'd you Google? I tried Googling cum face. <laughs> Let me see what that. What did you think was going to come up, Randy? You better give me that mouse right now. <laughs> come, baby, come, baby, baby, come, come. Oh, I do have an idea. I saw a memory on my Facebook earlier today that was my words per minute on, and I thought we could have a nice little competition just Typing? to see. Who, yeah. No, I know for sure you're, you be, oh, Jesus Whoa, Christ. boy. Randy's poor <laughs> She <computer>. looks like... <laughs> She was at a fucking block party. She looks like she was at a block party and her little kid just started pouring glue on her Silly face. Silly string. Like, if she, it, look oh, at her. Oh, I she's, can't even look at it. Oh. She's outside at a party and she's oh. a great start to 2020. Come face oh. generator. Yeah, I was going to say that looks fake. 100%. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I mean, yeah, I think guys is it's always a very it's always a very sweet, quick release for them. <laughs> the way you just looked at me looked like you were straight up falling asleep while looking at me in the <laughs> I was eyes. Trying to dissociate. Libby literally looked at me like I was trying to dissociate myself from those pictures. Oh yeah, just dissociate. Makes me want me to makes me want to throw up. Well, I mean some Violently. people some people love getting cummed on. Yeah, good for them. Have them come look at this picture. We don't need any drama. I don't want to look at it. What about O Face? Isn't O Face maybe? Oh, oh. yeah, Rant. <laughs> oh, T- Tony Allen. O Face. Oh, okay. So here's a couple. You know this. The wow. Oh, one hundred <laughs> people show us their O faces. Oh, we can't watch that, can we? Will we get reported? I mean, if Randy doesn't put it on the TV. Oh, oh, look, that that looks like me. Just kidding. <laughs> That's more like me. <laughs> is that Andy Samberg? Sure is. He just did his pants. <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot about that song. How could you forget? I don't know. It's one of the greats. Wow. Look at that. Oh. oh. Guitar face or O face? Whoa, that girl is real couples O faces. I mean, if if that's what I look like when I'm coming, that's funny. Like she looks like she was like, ah! Ah, there's a burglar. We know for a fact that Libby's obviously holding her tits, and it's just definitely like a. <laughs> I have a feeling yours is like a very genuine smile. Like it's like. That does not look genuine. <laughs> that looked terrifying. <laughs> oh my god! Oh boy, I'm trying to think of like what Rafe says. Like he probably wouldn't want me to tell anyone, yeah, he but would, it, he wouldn't want to tell. And I don't think I want to know. Oh, well, I guess let I'll head see, home. Let me see if I can find that site that I was telling you about. That that site, beautiful agony. <laughs> this lady. Look at her fucking hair. Oh, Jesus Christ. What is she doing? Well, this is what, 100? Uh, they don't know that. Oh, it's still up there. What is it? It's called Beautiful Agony. Okay, and what is it again? People coming? People jerking off, but it's only showing their faces. Oh, that's great. It doesn't show any of their body parts. Well, it's not supposed to. It's only supposed to show your face. Oh, I got to log in. And trust me, I ain't starting no account. <laughs> Whoa, he looks like he's having fun. I mean, this is old. This is from... Well, these are new, but the when I knew about it, it was very old. Very, that's what she looks like when she comes. It's just like this. <laughs> Does it have a... um? A sample, free pre. Click on the free preview. Mm. Poor Randy. <laughs> My beautiful agony experience was one of the best orgasms I've actually had. I don't think I've met anyone who's done it the way that I do. I'm an exhibitionist, and I really like uh, being watched by people. 
kind of making an uh, intimate moment universal. It's my O phase. <laughs> Even if you're like your mum stumbled across it, you wouldn't be too horrified. <laughs> Tina's cracking up. <laughs> <laughs> the shuddering. There was, oh, I mean, more 22 seconds in. Let me just rewind it a few seconds. Listen to the shudders. People. Kind of making an uh, intimate moment universal. It's my O phase. You oh. feel like your mom stumbled across it. You wouldn't be too hard. That one. The guy that goes. <laughs> he goes. He's doing what you you love, trembling. It was like he's cold, you know. He's like, <laughs> that's exactly what that cat sounds like. And he was kind of hot, had a little bun, nice little tan, slender olive fellow, and he's going. <laughs> what are we gonna do while this is playing? What do you mean? Can we play this? I think so. It's a free preview. But I mean. Is this okay for us to play on the YouTube? You know better than I do. I don't know. We Fuck could, it. We'll do it we live. We can try it, and then if not, we'll take it out, right? Universal? It's my <laughs> old phase. If we have to take this out on the YouTube, it'll just be a lot. Randy will just play over and over again. <laughs> a very cold person. It's like that. That sound to me is like that video of Celine Dion where she's like, ah, 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 ah. Uh, <laughs> do you know what I'm talking no. about? <laughs> and we can't play that either. God damn it. Uh, we, need to get, we need to get famous and rich so that we can play all this stuff. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll play it for you after. It's really funny. You feel like your mom stumbled across it. You wouldn't be too horrified. Oh. I saw everything. It was a perfect side on view. Randy <laughs> said, dang. Oh. Oh. More attractive than a face contorted with pleasure. I had an experience with a guy and his face sort of went like this. I'm going to be having sex with a woman. That would be great. Being the boss. That girl <laughs> was just out in her backyard <laughs> coming. Well. Maybe she oh, experience with a guy and his oh. face sort of went like this. I would love to have sex with a woman. That would be great. Being the boss oh. and having lots of guys all around me. T-shirt on. Together. The sound of her voice was so high. Sometimes I'm just so horny that I have to just do it a couple of times a day. Oh. Like I had an orgasm. I was like, what was that? Oh my God, there's four of them sitting together. The water ran over. Me down there, you know, in that spot. <laughs> and he pushed me against the wall when we, where we are, when we were at his house, and he said, "You drive me crazy," and he just kissed me, and I was like, "Oh!" Just saying that out loud uh, has turned me on a little bit. And uh, That's all you. six of them came in, turned the lights on while I was bent over the bed. I mean, the groups of them together. <laughs> it's sure. more than an explosion when the squirt is coming <laughs> out. You just feel <gasps> empty. Holy shit. <laughs> Some people like have like, you know, interesting fetishes. Like they like their elbows being touched. I like having like my little mini orgasms throughout the day. <laughs> it was wa water that came out of me and I didn't really know what was happening. And then she starts fucking me. I think agony is sexy, sweet, soft, intense. Seeing people different people that you would never, maybe you would never meet and have sex with, but people that turn around seeing them come as a, that's like the best thing. So I really like it. So, yeah, it was by myself with a little vibrating toy and uh, yeah, pleasure all the way. That guy looked like, that person looked like they got stuck in the pool and like couldn't come, you know, if you're like under the water a little bit and you're just like, you're trying to get up. Hey. Porn made by people who are actually enjoying it and doing it because they love it. I'm all for it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. Moral of the story is everyone has their mouth open. Yeah. Not one person. Everyone's like, ugh. <laughs> Not one person came in that video and was like, <laughs> <laughs> Their mouth is totally closed and they're like, <laughs> They're just like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I found this by being on Live Journal many years ago. Yeah, whatever, dude. You're watching this. 
touching your little bean. I was, I, you know, I was. I didn't touch myself too, but I did watch it a lot, and I did find it on Live Journal. That's not a lie. You're just kicking off your morning. Do you remember Live Journal? No, I don't oh, even know what that God. is. Is it like Zanga? It was uh, a blogging community. Sure. What? Why'd you make that face? Because it was so stupid. Uh, well, yeah, but that's what everyone like. I that's mean, what I we had, did. I had the Zanga deal, and I mean, I probably wrote some really unfathomable things <laughs> on there. Oh God, I'm sure it was horrific. Some of the stuff I wrote. Plus, I was like in elementary school. I was probably like, oh, God, I'm so sick of everything. <laughs> I can't imagine having computers in elementary school. Mm-hmm. Wow, we had pencil and paper. Wow. <laughs> We were really what a advanced. hero. We were really advanced back then. In the morning, once you found beautiful agony, you'd be like, mm. Just can't well. <laughs> start my morning. Get your paper out, put that on in the background, and you're just like <laughs> just making O face. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. It Am is, I I'm, shitting or coming? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely a reason why it's called an O-Face. And, I mean, it is brilliant, you know. It's brilliant? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, What's brilliant? Just the fact that it's called O-Face? Yeah. Like, the first guy that came up with that, everybody probably just, like, beat. Or it's my probably my feet you're smelling. No, I didn't put deodorant on today. Mm. Exercise pretty heavily earlier. Yeah, I uh, exercise pretty heavily. That's what you should start off any kind of like dating profile. Exercise message pretty with, heavily. Like, yeah, so I. Uh, they all do. Exercise don't they? pretty heavily. I love to hike. Exercise. I want a fit girl. <laughs> It'd just be really funny to write. I love to exercise pretty heavily. <laughs> what are your interests? Yeah, just exercising heavily. Exercise pretty heavily. Another teriyaki burp. Mm. Yeah, we had some Panda Express before this, and boy, howdy. It was too much. Can't do it. Can't no. do it. Well, it's just a very heavy meal to begin with. I mean, it's... A lot of starches, a lot of sugar, a lot I of... I should have gotten one one thing. I know, but we were excited. We And, I mean, yeah, oh. the, the place was just wildly busy. It was just too Crawling. much going on. Crawling with pandas. Crawling with pandas. And then they just, you know, cook them up real quick for you. So they make a delicious teriyaki panda, though. Oh, God, that's so sad. Poor pandas. Yeah. Poor any animals. I know. I know. I I, mm. I, ha I really do just have those moments where I'm like, I'm going to be vegan. I watched that Sea Spiracy documentary the other day. Mm. When I got back, when we got back from Phoenix and truly that night, I was like, that's it. I'm done, dude. I'm going to be vegan. And then I had a couple <clears throat> slices of cheese. A <laughs> couple slices of raw dolphin <laughs> yeah, just, and whale. Uh, I I had a few shark bites. Tina wanted to sit down and do some light watching of a very intense documentary. I couldn't do it. Yeah, Libby was like, well, no, you didn't just, it wasn't just you couldn't do it. Libby looked at me and goes, how are you watching this? <laughs> I know. she just she like. Goes, how are you okay? Just sitting there and there's like dead whales just all over. The, oh, I was like, I don't know. You got to watch this stuff. I don't think you do. <laughs> I think there's a, just a level of trauma. You just can't watch it anymore. You think you should just read about it? I don't know. Read about it. I don't know. Reef and I started watching that uh, QAnon documentary last night on HBO. Yeah. Dude, that shit is wild. What's wild is that people believe it. Oh, yeah. There's this one lady. What's her name? I just want you to see a picture of her. Randy, why are you holding your headphones like that? Did I do something wrong? No, I'm just adjusting. Adjusting is nuts. No, where is this lady? She's like a big deal. Everybody knows who she is in like the Q world. No, it's not Marjorie Green. They call this woman, uh, Q, they call them Q tubers. Oh, God. Isn't that infuriating? 
Is this on Netflix? HBO. Well, that's why I didn't watch it. I'm too poor for HBO. No. I just want to see this woman's name. I can't remember her fucking name, dude. But, I mean, she was crazy. She literally was like, you know, we've got people all over the world that are running pedophile rings and drinking children's blood. And that's a fact I've proven. So, <laughs> How did she prove it? That's what she said. How did she prove it? Uh, I. How did she prove it? Straight up. I mean, she was fucking dead serious, man. She's like, and I've got proof of it. Well, show us. Yeah. Show us the proof, ma'am. I want to see it. Give it to me. If you're just trying to tell me that Michelle Obama's skin is incredible because she's drinking children's blood. Hillary Clinton, too. Hillary Clinton. Oh, my God. And the funniest thing was like the Pizzagate thing. Oh, I wish you could watch this clip of it. But either way, they're talking about the Pizzagate thing. And I guess it was like a guy named John Podesta. I don't even know who exactly it is. But the way that they profiled this on the QAnon documentary was like, uh, okay, so this is a conspiracy, whatever. You Do you remember this, right? The Pizzagate yeah. thing? So v- went viral during the 2016 United States presidential election cycle. Oh, whoa, I got scared. Pet him. I gave a pet to Kitty. Okay, so in March 2016, the personal email account of John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign manager at the time, was hacked in a spear phishing attack. Don't know what that means, but that sounds intense. And they spelled fish like the band. Um, WikiLeaks published his emails in November 2016. The funniest part of this whole thing is they're like profiling, showing the emails or whatever. And it's pretty much that like, QAnon people were reading all these emails and saw the word pizza in there. They were like, yeah, we saw the word pizza a little bit too many times. So then they just started decoding what was in it. So they were like, pizza equals teenage boy. Like, (laughs) (laughs) oh, dude, it was fucking crazy. I wish I could like find some of the emails or whatever that they, uh, I mean, I'm sure I could, but it's just the most ridiculous fucking thing in the world. And it all started because people were uncomfortable <laughs> with how many times they said pizza. Like, John Podesta told Hillary Clinton in an email, he goes, yeah, no need to bring pizza tonight. And everybody was like, oh. they're talking about kids. <laughs> <laughs> and then they, like, started this whole thing where they're like, yeah, dude, this Comet pizza place. <laughs> So has anybody ever killing kids in the basement? They anybody, don't have a basement. That's what I was gonna say. Has anybody checked out that they don't have a basement? Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Oh, I just wish like the way they did it in the QAnon documentary was like they highlighted the word pizza and then it was pizza. And then there was like this one journalist, he's like, <laughs> pretty much like there was just the word pizza in there a lot. And everybody <laughs> Fuck. got really uncomfortable with it. It's fucking so funny. These people, these these QAnons. Well, and they're also not. There's there's no one that nobody knows who it actually even is. Like they showed this family that was like, "Yeah, we voted for Obama twice, and then you know, we just had enough." And that, I mean, that was pretty much it. For what? That started QAnon? No, no, no. Like this couple that is like big QAnon believers. Now. Oh. Like they were like, yeah, dude, we were, uh, we voted for Obama twice. Okay. Democrats our whole life. And then, you know, now enough is enough. A- and I mean, the way that they Are believe. They old? No. How 40s. Old? That's old. I mean, you, you start to get to my age. You start to. You're unable to really decipher on internet if things are real or fake. None of these cats can. <laughs> I mean, none of them. No, they and even like there was a video of Trump where he was like, "What did he say?" He's like, "Yeah, so um, things are gonna be tip top shape, tippy toppy, tip, tippy top," and then. QAnon, I guess, posted on, like, this board and said tip-top, and everyone was like, 
It's a nod to QAnon. <laughs> and like, and, I mean, there's so many. What, and what's the other thing? It's like, with one, we go all. I can't remember the slogan It's like name. WW. Yes. Yeah. They, if you. WW1, I'm like, World War One. On Twitter, you, you'd see people with that shit in there a lot. Oh, it's so stressful. I just can't imagine how much time this takes their brains to like constantly Look at them. do this. Is that the guy that yelled at you at uh at the in his jeep panda? earlier today? Someone did. Enter the storm. So, what date are they waiting for now cuz they always move the dates back? Yeah. Um to be honest, I don't know. I haven't I'll have gotten to, to, I'll have to check all of it, but boy, they are really just wildcats. I mean, the Pizzagate stuff is the fun. Like, for them to make a code out of everything on there is just pretty mind-blowing. Maybe those people have never felt important in their life, and now they feel important because they think they've unraveled something. Yeah, I mean, but it's like somebody else is doing the unraveling for them. So that's, I don't know. I'm not really sure. But I don't know how you could watch a video. Oh, and then Trump also said in one video, he goes, let me just say, this is... The calm before the storm. Calm. And that's their thing. Before the storm. Yes. And then they lost their minds, dude. I wonder if they're still waiting for secret messages from him. I know. They've got to be so bummed out that he's not on Twitter anymore. They're probably lost. He ain't tweeting nothing, so they're probably just sitting around, waiting around. They're lost, I tell you. They're just freaking out. All the 8chan, all that shit. I was like, this shit's wild, man. Some of the things they say on there are just fucking horrific. (laughs) The guy that made 8chan is disabled, has like a degenerative bone disease, is in a wheelchair. And he was like, yeah, there's a lot of memes on, uh, you know, 8chan or whatever, where it's like, you know, kill all the cripples or whatever. And he's like, whatever. I was like, what? <laughs> How are you okay with this? It's a it's a deep, dark spiral. Is it a series or one No, movie? it's like a series. I think oh, they have like six Lord. in there. Oh, Lord, that's a lot. Oh, it's very intense. I'm trying to get my Animal Crossing Island back together. I don't have time to watch. Oh, yeah. You got to tell. I got to get some water, but I need you to tell me about what what's going on in the animal crossing world now just started it over just completely started over on a new island had hundreds and hundreds of hours of just she went to get some water oh hundreds of hours of just playing animal crossing and just started over from scratch i wanted to see what i could do you know but i miss my villagers i miss all my flowers had so many flowers kitty was just look at him in the kitchen with his back arched all the way looking at me like was he scared i think and i was i backed up because he scared me was his tail puffed up his whole back was arched was he going he didn't hiss but i i thought he was gonna give me a little i thought he was gonna gonna give me a little swat so, did you have roaches in your place? You did have roaches. When I came back, I didn't have roaches because it hasn't been that long since I played. Oh, okay. But I just took one look at my island. I was like, you know what? It's ready for, I'm ready for a fresh start. I'm ready for a re- spring cleaning. Cleaning and. Uh, Let me tell you. Just went and deleted all the data and just started over. Now my island is called Loserville. Because. You're a loser? No. (laughs) Because a a bunch of losers live on your island? Yeah. Bunch of fucking cucks. Bunch of exercising little punk ass bitches. Should have called it Cuckville. (laughs) I should have. Do I need to start over now? Yeah. They might rename it. No. That's it. Once it's done, it's done. I haven't played in a while. Remember how difficult it was for me to catch any tarantulas? It was just difficult for you. (laughs) You're not a gamer like me. No, I'm not. You're a gamer. I'm a gamer. You, I mean, this level of skill you have to have to be a gamer, (laughs) like you and Rafe and stuff. Like, the way that he plays Zelda, 
there was days that he would just come into bed at 6 a.m. and be like, Been there. Wow. <laughs> Trained a dog. Did this. And I'm like, get the fuck away from me. It's six in the morning. <laughs> and he's like all amped up, like getting in bed, like, bum, bum, ba, da, ba, 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 ba. And he's putting on this mask ready to go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Have you ever tried to wear his mask? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Not uh, going to do that. I did fall asleep on the couch last night, though, first, because, like, he has been complaining about my snoring. <laughs> oh, the tables have turned, haven't they? It's really upsetting. <laughs> oh, I did record myself uh, while I was sleeping, though, today. Let's see if I have any snores in there. Because it's like, I, I know I'm snoring, but it's like part of me still truly doesn't believe it. <laughs> so I have a two and a half, two hour recording today. So let's just kind of skirt through some of it. What the hell? Why isn't it working? What is it? Well, I just want to hear if I'm snoring in any of these recordings. <laughs> is it the sleep app? No, no, no. I just do voice memos. Oh, God. Doesn't sound like it. That sounds like an AC machine. No snoring. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a fart. What is all that banging? Is that you touching the mic? Yeah. Okay. See, I mean, I just, I, I don't believe it. Get the sleep app, get a sleep app that only records when you start snoring. So it'll just um, automatically notify the app that I'm doing the. It'll start recording oh. when you're going. Oh. Eh, oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> God, that snore is just pathetic. Why can't you snore like a normal human? I mean, what is that? Mm. <laughs> mm. And you sleep on your back. Like, how the fuck do you do that? I do a little bit of both. I do the back. I do the side. I do it all. Mm. <laughs> That's a snore right there. Yeah. You got some snores, dude. You, you know what's funny? If you snore really, really deeply... But then you also will have moments where it's like, I mean, you make one step and you'll be like, <laughs> like you wake up so quick. I mean, it, <laughs> I got to be on alert. And some of the farts you did while you were sleeping, <laughs> you were straight up dead ass asleep <laughs> one night when we were in Phoenix. I wish I could have heard him. Dead ass asleep. <laughs> and you were like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just letting one big one rip, brother. I know that I talked a lot because I would wake myself up when I would you, say something. Yeah, you do talk. I think the talking's really funny, though. What was the thing that you, what was that <laughs> one, like, famous chat you had with yourself while you were sleeping? It was, like, something really big. We've talked about it on the podcast before. Look at you that, said something look crazy. Look at that guy or something. <laughs> look don't, at that guy's hair or something. I don't fucking remember. No, you're definitely, you are a chatter. Rafe said I was laughing in my sleep the other night. I laugh a lot in my sleep, too. That I was like. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, sounded like you were flirting with somebody. And I was like, what, dude? That sounds like something my ex would say. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was. No, I would have been like, no, I wasn't. I swear. No, I, well, I literally, I had a dream that Bo died. Oh, I know. And Bo. we had to like, we had to bury him in cement, like in a parking lot. It was a weird fucked up dream. And Rafe was like, oh my God, were you laughing at that? I was like, God, I hope not. <laughs> I remember being very sad in the dream when Royce passed on. Oh, Royce. I know. Is Royce older than Simba? Oh yeah. Royce is like 13. Oh shit. I mean, Simba's going to be a sad guy when Royce passes on. You probably extended his life though a lot. Royce? Yeah. Oh, heck yazzles. 
<laughs> Thank you, Randall. Heck, Yazzles, dude. Royce is a spry young guy. <laughs> Jumping up onto a fucking bed platform that's that high. <laughs> he just hops right up. Grabbing shoes. He's just ready. He's just partying. <laughs> loving his life. Living, laughing, loving, brother. I don't like to think about pets' eventual death. Well, no, and that's just what happens. So it's, yeah. Oh, God, I burped so bad. Beth and Chelsea are rolling through town this weekend. Oh, they're STL? Pick me up. Oh, the, yeah, they are. When do they come through? They think Saturday night. And Beth is like, can we park in front of your house? I'm like, no, you can't even drive down my street. Oh, yeah, that'll be pretty intense. So she was like, well, we'll, we'll go to a Walmart near you and park it. I'm like, don't go to a Walmart near me. Why? The Walmart near me has those police like viewing stations. Uh huh. You know what I'm talking about? They're in the parking lot. I think so. So that it's it wouldn't be a they don't I thought you're allowed to park at any Walmart and take a nappy. Well, I'm just saying it I don't think it would be safe. Oh, you think it's a bad area or something? Yeah. But you could just be laying in the front seat of the R V sleeping like this with your pink sombrero. <laughs> I could be, but I'm just saying I there's a history of bands getting their trailers and stuff robbed here in St. Louis. I did not know that. Oh, you didn't know that? I, I Wiping did not. out the entire trailer of all their equipment. Damn. So I'm just saying, around like, my house. Like in Delmar and stuff? Or just yeah, all over? All over. So I just don't think being around my house would be safe for the, the thing. So what are you going to do? I told her to maybe go to Westport Plaza. Park outside of a Chili's. Outside of a Chili's. Because Westport Plaza, there I see a lot of recreational vehicles there. Okay, so people are just kind of laying back there. Like, well, and like it's they close could to just your house. be like, oh, I have a hotel here. God, how home. crazy is it going to be that you're just going to be riding dirty in a fucking RV? Riding dirty? Yeah. Isn't that when you have a gun? <laughs> yeah, but no, I meant it in like a cool <laughs> way. You're just going to be, you're going to be riding dirty, brother. Not just riding, but driving. Are you scared to drive it? Um, a little bit. Yeah. I would be. <laughs> I would. It's huge. It's fucking huge, brother. It's, it's huge. I mean, that thing is massive. Did you go in it? Yes. Oh, that's right. We picked you up from the restaurant. Yes. Oh, yeah, dude. That thing is big. That thing is fucking Partyville, USA, brother. It's big, but also when the sides are closed, like nobody's walking through there. What do you mean? It's so hard to walk through the middle when the sides are closed. What when do you mean the, the sides? sides are out, when the couch is like out and the table's out, then you can walk through there normally. I guess I'm not. A, what do you mean by the sides? The two of the things pop out. Okay. So where the couches and the table, those pop out. Okay. And provides more room. But you can't drive it like that. Okay, so when we were driving it, it wasn't like that. No. Gotcha. That's why our legs were all stuck together like that. Oh, man, that thing is a big kahuna. <laughs> it's going to be fucking wild. I don't know why. I thought you weren't leaving until Monday. The show's on Monday. Fuck. So how far is it from here, from St. Louis? I think it's almost seven hours. So they're just going to stay over Saturday night and then leave 10 a.m. on Sunday. And I'll probably be fucking sick as shit because I'm getting my vaccine. Oh, God, I hope not. Otherwise, you're going to be wearing your little pink sombrero driving, fucking <laughs> looking like a real tan lady, <laughs> sweating your balls off. I got there my being sombrero. Like, I'm good, guys. Did I show you I had a pic? I got yeah, it. Yeah, show me a little picture of you in that sombrero. I'd love to see it. I look real cute in it. I'm just going to tell you that right now. When I say cute, I mean actually ugly. <laughs> so. <laughs> the fact that you're not smiling or anything in that makes it even funnier. It's just a picture of Libby wearing her fucking like pink Kenny Chesney looking ass sombrero to drive the RV. And she just looks like <laughs> oddest smile in the world. God, that's crazy. And you're going to be gone for what, two weeks? Yep. 
Are you scared? Uh, no, that's no. good. Shouldn't be. Not scared. Um, always my worry is my legs. That's always my worry. Are my legs going to hold up? Are they going to hold up? <laughs> you look down at them. Are you guys going to make it through this? <laughs> They're like, no. It's like when you get a shitty bookcase from Ikea and you put all the shit on top of it and you're like, dude, I don't know if it's going to last. <laughs> fucking, yeah. It starts, starts bowing. bowing. Yep. Fucking bows out. Little piece of shit. Oh, I'm so sick of my fucking Ikea furniture. I could just beat the shit out of it. Which furniture you have is Ikea? My fucking bed frame. It's, oh, why would you do that? Because I had to. I needed something cheap that had storage in it, and that was that. And it's breaking apart? It's not breaking. I just fucking hate it. Like, I always, you know, like, I hit my shin on the corner yeah. of the bed multiple times when we were in the hotel. Yes. That's what, like, this Ugh. one little section on the fucking bed frame does. Ta- tape a towel to it. It'll That's actually look not real, a bad idea. It'll look real funky, but. It'll look real trashy. That's what uh, my parents used to do to those. We would have metal bed frames. Mm -hmm. And on the end, they'd have the two that stick out. They'd put like towels and just fucking tape it. That's a good fucking idea. That's like childproofing shit if you don't have any money. Exactly. Okay. We don't have any money for the uh, Gerber fucking little, you know, corner, corner huggers. So just get a bath towel, cut it up into a few slices. Slices. (laughs) You just get a big fucking bath (laughs) towel. Just. Sitting down and standing back up. Just uh, sitting down and standing back up. Oh, boy. Whose bits are you going to repeat while you're doing? You're going to have to repeat Chelsea's bits to her. I guess Chelsea's. Great. Great. Just one of the funniest people ever. I have to repeat their fucking bits to her. Who am I going to send the green room with when Chelsea's up there? The host? I guess myself. You'll sit in there with the host. The host will probably be some dumb person. You're going to have to be like, you should just, at least the first time that you get to the first venue, just pretend like you're so snotty. You know, be like, where is my veggie tray? Where is it? Ma'am, you clearly don't eat veggies. Be like, excuse me, we asked for 10 liters of Coke. (laughs) Cold. Without home ice. Yeah. No home ice. Very ice cold. Crushed ice. Refrigerate. God, you guys put could put some ridiculous shit in your rider. <laughs> like unscented wet wipes. Just all <laughs> it's all like bathroom things, not one item of food. Hemorrhoid creams. <laughs> suppositories. Suppo- yeah, suppositories. Yeast infection cream. Just the net yeah, monostat. <laughs> That's all your rider is. They're Maxi like, wow, pants. these women, at athlete's foot cream, <laughs> <laughs> ringworm cream, <laughs> just the nastiest shit ever. Abreva, lots of it. <laughs> That's all. Just, we need a lot lots of Abreva. Of we should do that. That's, that would be so funny. And be like, and don't fucking, don't you get the fucking dollar store suppositories. <laughs> I want Prep H, Preparation H and Tux medicated pads. Oh, those Tux medicated cooling pads. Ooh. <laughs> and I want, I don't want just one fucking, you know, spray on deodorant. <laughs> I need clinical strength. <laughs> clinical Secret. strength. Yeah. Just the nasty, any kind of like bodily fluid thing or whatever. Be like, we need gas X, Imodium, <laughs> all of them. They're like, Co- you guys- Corn pads for our feet. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys want anything to eat? No, but could you run down to CVS and get me some wart remover? <laughs> Freeze off. Could you get me a wart remover kit and get me Dr. Scholl's? You better not get the Walgreens or CVS <laughs> brand. Swear to fucking Give God. Give me a wart pad. <laughs> they have those little band-aids that you can stick on there. Yeah. You're like, can you uh, get me some kind of- uh, Nail polish for yellow toes. <laughs> Foot fungus. <laughs> they give you like an Easter basket full of all these things you're asking for. Like, wow, thanks so much. This is really amazing. Um, guess we don't have to stop at Walgreens. 
You just have them stop everywhere for you. That would be nice. Yeah. I mean, it would be very embarrassing. But that it would uh, it wouldn't be though because they wouldn't be able to say anything cuz it's like you guys are selling every club out that you're going to. So it's like and HIPAA laws. Yeah. <laughs> and HIPAA. <laughs> what did I refer to as HIPAA, a HIPAA law the other day? Uh Can't remember. Where I I don't remember where we were, but I I called something about Jose. He was like, "Okay, you can just uh, write down your info oh yeah the hotel and he i was like wow looks like there's some uh customers <laughs> info on here ever heard of hipaa <laughs> at a hotel i wonder if he looked us up now you're gonna start getting messages from two dudes yeah he's gonna start freaking dming you i hope so so i can turn him down well i'm gonna send uh angel pick your tits while you're gone <laughs> you better not i'll block you, you I'll better block not. you and delete you yeah, right. You did block me one time, though. Sure did. Didn't even fucking know. Did you follow me back yet? Yeah. <laughs> I got scared. Go. Libby just took out her earphones to signify that this I'm is done. over. She's I'm done s- for. I'm still so full. I want to throw up everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, honey. All right. Well, we'll be back. Shaboom. Shakaka. Bye, everybody. Okay. Love y'all. Thanks, Randy. And cut. You're about to shit your pants, aren't you? Oh, okay. The food is packed in.